Welcome everybody back to another exciting edition of Transformers Reviews. Well today, everyone, we are taking a look at the Evo version of Shrapnel. Now, as you can actually see, we are having our boy rock his rocket-powered bug zapper. I know that's for his Evo fusion ability later, but you know what? If I want to use it like this, I can. Because we know this boy flies, and now he... <laughs> He just has a rocket booster that can shoot his enemies, so well done. And, and like the little pops of silver and red and the, you know, classic yellow there to reference the original Diaclone cockpit, I'm loving it. I mean, just I think it works well for an updated version of this boy because, you know, for ages, they've been super small. And, you know, when we look at the comparison of his original figure here, I like how a lot of the cues are a reference to this boy, but again, it's the size that makes all the difference. And now that they're full-scale deluxes to where they can kind of square off better with certain Autobots, I think it works perfectly. And the funny thing about Shrapnel is, is that he's no joke. Because as we saw in, I believe it was the debut episode of the Insecticons, he had the ability to take control of certain Autobots, especially in vehicle form, and try to use them to, uh, well, basically run over their friends. And so if you want to recreate that scene here, you can see that uh, definitely he pulls it off quite nicely. And I love the fact that the very tips of his, I, are those his mandibles? The fact that they actually can utilize blast effects for a variety of purposes, I'm definitely digging that. And what would our boy be without an Insecticon army to command? And to be fair, it was mostly between Shrapnel and Bombshell in the original cartoon. They kind of like switched back and forth between who is the leader of the Insecticons. Uh, which, speaking of Bombshell, our boy Ransack is just standing in until we get the Legacy version. I do find it funny that you can use the original figures as the Insecticlones, because in the cartoon, I think the Insecticlones were either the same size or smaller than the original Insecticons, so it works out pretty well. So one last thing before we run on to robot mode, guys, is if you look at the blaster on the original Shrapnel, According to my resources, apparently the original version of the gun didn't have these rocket fins nor the tiny little details on the blaster. But if you look at the Legacy version, it not only has the rocket fins, and it also has a little bit of detail on the barrel as well. So if that is true that this was a change in the weapon for shrapnel as a later run, I do find it funny that the Legacy version also went ahead and duplicated that detail specifically. Here you can actually see our boy rocking his other set of weapons now in his robot mode. And you know what? I do find that cool that those extra insect legs now are actually have some other use. Because on the original boy, as you can see, they just kind of dangled off the bottoms of his arms. But if you want them to be, again, of a little bit more use, then that's pretty awesome. However, there he is with his traditional variety. But again, because like we mentioned at the outset, this is an Evo weapon, it does have an additional feature. Which in this case, you can see that it does form a big boom rifle. Uh, because that's totally what Shrapnel was known for. So, uh, you know what, I, I sound like I'm making fun of it. I'm actually kind of glad that it gives you a little bit more value for your figure. He's not just a one-trick pony with one weapon. So, you know what? That is a credit to this figure. I'll give him that for sure. Now, I've always kind of liked the way that his robot mode looks because it's kind of like an upside-down triangle, which kind of makes these areas of his mandibles look like wings. And you know how I feel about things that look like flared-out wings, so probably is not a big surprise, right? So guys, as you can see here, we have quite the brawl on our hands. We have Sideswipe bravely taking on Kickback in the air. And then we can see that Optimus is pretty much just manhandling Ransack. I mean, he was stupid to go up against Optimus to begin with. And then we have our boy taking on Ironhide. But as you can see, Ironhide has about zero tolerance for bugs. And uh, he may get a hit or two off on Ironhide, but not before Ironhide 
blast the student to oblivion, which brings something to mind because I noticed a trend shift because in the cartoon, his very first appearance, he was able to control the Autobots like we talked about earlier, and he apparently had the power of Thor, and his only weakness was uh, rubber tires, apparently. But see, that kind of sets a trend because while him and Kickback were just having a nice lunch at the attack of Autobot City, They get embarrassed really quickly by basically being bug brains and getting ran over by Cup and Hot Rod. But I guess that was just to allow them to be beaten up enough to later become sweeps. So, makes total sense. So what is my final thought on our boy here? Well, you know, when I really think about it, I've really enjoyed messing with him a lot more than I did Kickback. But this guy feels like he's a little bit more fun. He has a little bit more of a different look that I, I don't know what it is that it just makes him really kind of a, a cool and more fun figure in my opinion. Anyway guys, again that was a look at the Evo version of Shrapnel. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please take a look at the Skyquake, Metal Hawk, and the Leo Prime videos. Those have been recent uploads and uh, so if you haven't had the chance, please check those out. So until next time guys, we'll see you in another review. Let's give our visitors a face.